Now fifth part is y is equal to uh, log square root x square minus 1 divided by x square plus 1. So this is the thing uh, which is already discussed in our uh, some parts or I have already told you uh, that if there is a possibility to simplify this uh, function, a given function, so first uh, go towards simplification and then applying differentiation. So before we apply differentiation, uh, we have using actually our log property, log with function containing power 1 by 2. So this power can be multiplying 1 by 2 log x square minus 1 divided by x square plus 1. Now differentiate with respect to x, dy by dx is equal to 1 by 2 and derivative of log of this function which is 1 over function and then derivative will apply on this function. So this will become x square plus 1 which is this one, this x square plus 1 in the denominator. So we will multiply uh, into the numerator which is x square plus 1 and this 2 into x square minus 1. And when we apply differentiation on this part, quotient theorem will be used here x square plus 1 whole square this x square plus 1 derivative of x square minus 1 minus x square minus 1 will be as it is and derivative will apply on x square plus 1. This x square plus 1 will be cancelled out to this one. We have only here x square plus 1 and in numerator we have x square plus 1 derivative of x square minus 1 will be 2x as derivative of 1 will be 0 minus this x square minus 1 will be as it is and derivative of x square plus 1 which is 2x and derivative of 1 will be 0. And in denominator 2, this x square minus 1 and we have only here x square plus 1, not square because square will be cancelled out to this one. 2x, taking as a common factor, we have x square plus 1 and minus x square and minus and minus will become plus 1, 2, x square minus 1 and x square plus 1 by using a formula of al algebraic formula a minus b and a plus b which is actually a square minus b square. So we have a square. So that is actually x square whole square minus 1 square which is x4 minus 1. This x square will be cancelled out. We have 1 plus 1 2. This 2 will be cancelled out. 1 plus 1 will be 2. 2 into x will be 2x and x4 minus 1 which is our required uh, differentiation of the given function. And from here there is also another direction to solve this question that uh, here we apply a log property log x raised to the power n which can be written as n into log of x which is actually this one 1 by 2 will be multiplying to this log x square minus 1 and x square plus 1 and then differentiation will apply and solving this that will become required result but before applying differentiation here we can also uh, use another property of log that if uh, a value is in the form which is already in the deviant form so we can also use a result of log property that if there is a form log a over b can be written as log of a minus log of a so if, if we use this property then this question will become more simplified or more easy because we will not use of quotient theorem here as if we applying a log property here that y is equal to 1 by 2 log x square minus 1 minus log x square plus 1. So you can see that there is no more uh, deviant form here. So uh, we will not use our quotient theorem which is uh, a little bit a lengthy way to simplify this one. This is actually uh, an application of Mm, quotient theorem but if we apply a log property then there will be no use of quotient theorem like this one if we start differentiation from here differentiate with respect to x that can be written as or sim applying differentiation rule dy by dx this 1 by 2 will be as it is and derivative of log x square minus 1 will be 1 over x square minus 1 and then derivative will apply on x square minus 1 which is like this one minus and similarly when we apply differentiation on log this one that is 1 over x square plus 1 derivative will apply on x square plus 1 1 by 2 this x square minus 1 
when we apply differentiation that is 2x x square minus 1 will be as it is minus similarly derivative of x square plus 1 again will be 2x x square plus 1 will be as it is 2x can be taken as a common factor we have 1 over x square minus 1 1 over x square plus 1 this 2 will be cancelled out so by simplifying or by taking LCM x square minus 1 x square plus 1 this x square minus 1 will be cancelled out we have x square plus 1 and x square plus 1 will be cancelled out we have x square minus 1 applying this minus this will become minus x square plus 1 this will be cancelled out 1 plus 1 will be 2x and in denominator using algebraic formula a minus b and a plus b will become x square whole square which is x4 minus 1 so that is also another approach to solve the question now the next part is part number 6 y is equal to log x plus square root x square plus 1 solution differentiate with respect to x so dy by dx will become 1 over as log f of x so by using differentiation differentiation formula of log f of x is 1 over f of x which is this one and then derivative will apply on f of x which is x plus square root x square plus 1 this will be as it is 1 over x plus x square plus 1 square root and derivative of x plus x square plus 1 will be uh, applying both of these two terms so derivative of x will be 1 and derivative of x square plus 1 will be 1 over 2 x square plus 1 with power minus 1 by 2 and then derivative will apply on x square plus 1 1 over x plus square root x square plus 1 this one will be as it is plus 1 by 2 this x square plus 1 with power minus 1 by 2 converted to the denominator will become a positive power can be written with square root and derivative of x square plus 1 1 derivative of 1 will be 0 and derivative of x square will be 2x this 2 will be cancel out this 1 over x plus square root x square plus 1 will be as it is and in the remaining portion we can simplify by using LCM x square plus 1 square root will be as an LCM so we have x square plus 1 square root plus x this x plus square root x square plus 1 and this x plus square root x square plus 1 will be cancelled out. So we have only a 1 over square root x square plus 1 which is our required result. This will be cancelled out. The next part is 7th y is equal to 9 minus x square. Solution differentiate with respect to x by using simply a uh, formula of log 1 over 9 minus x square derivative of 9 minus x square this 9 minus x square will be as it is and derivative of 9 minus x square will become minus 2x as derivative of 9 due to the constant function will be 0 so we have only here a uh, derivative minus 2x divided by 9 minus x square part 8 y is equal to e raised to the power minus 2x into sine 2x a function which is actually a product of two function e raised to power minus 2x and sine 2x simply differentiation with respect to x left hand side will be dy by dx uh, we have to use uh, our product theorem to differentiate this one an easy exercise so you can easily simplify this one and that is our required result so part number 9 y is equal to e raised to power minus x x cube plus 2 x square plus 1 again this is actually a product of two functions so simplifying this one uh, by using our product theorem e raised to power minus x will be as it is derivative will apply on the second function and then x cube plus 2x cube plus 1 will be as it is and derivative will apply on e raised to power minus x so you can simplify yourself this one again an easy question tenth part y is equal to x e raised to the power sin x again product of two functions differentiate with respect to x left hand side will be dy by dx and on right hand side x will be as it is derivative will apply on e raised to the power sin x plus e raised to the power sin x will be as it is and derivative will apply on x x will be as it is as we already discussed in, uh, earlier in this exercise that e derivative of e raised to the power f of x will be e raised to the power f of x and derivative will apply on f of x here f of x is sin x so we have e raised to the power sin x and derivative 
will apply on sin x plus e raised to the power sin x will be as it is and derivative of x will be 1 x e raised to the power sin x and derivative of sin x will be cos x plus e raised to the power sin x into 1 will become e raised to the power sin x and e raised to the power sin x as a common factor will come out uh, from this expression and we have only here x into cos of x plus 1 a required derivative of the given function.